so, Karen? Um, it was like in July. All right, so you're back. And what are you looking for this time? Um, he's got to be good looking and um, he's got to have pretty much, you know, goals in life, want a good job. That's weird, because the last Support time you were here, you were looking for I know, for I wanted a, the perfect guy. You were looking for an ugly this guy time... with no money. No, no, no. My, how things change. <laughs> Jennifer, how about you? An ugly guy with money. There you go. <laughs> All things are new again. Kimberly, how about you? Well, my kind of guy, he's life smart and book smart. Um, What's he can make life me laugh. smart? Knowing not to put well, your tongue on a cold piece of metal? <laughs> One thing, yeah. Let's meet our two studs from New Orleans and New York. Nick and Blake. Nick, good to see you. Blake, good to have you here. Thank you. Right next to me. Right next to me, 20 year old pre med student from New Orleans, Louisiana, Nick Slavich. Give it up for him. Wearing the Mardi Gras colors. And next to him, 23 year old real estate, the biggest stud of New York, Blake Cassell. All right, guys, we went to your towns, we had these big things, and you guys won biggest stud in your hometowns, right? Yep. So now it's battle to battle, New Orleans versus New York. Ooh. Uh, what do you think women find most attractive about you, Nick? Actually, my chest, my abs, and my buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're using the professional names for those parts. I want to say something. Yeah. Sure. All right, well, we asked these particular three California women about your looks, and here's what they told us. Nick, one lady said, that chest, those abs, this man is Marky Mark Magnificent. <laughs> Second lady said, I have two words for him, adorable. Oh, that's cute. It is. Yeah, like and the that. third lady said, one look at that beautiful basketball butt, and I started to dribble. <laughs> this is tough. All right, um, that chest, those abs, this man is Marky Mark Magnificent. Jennifer. Yeah. There you go. Woo! <laughs> Jennifer. He reminded me of Marky Mark. He looked a lot like Marky Mark with his, if he needed a hat on yeah. and in the car. Yeah. All right, let me see your chest. <laughs> I didn't ask that. You get to go again there, Nick. Uh, I have two words for him. Adorable. Or, one look at those beautiful basketball butt and I started to dribble. I have two words for him. Adorable. <laughs> Kimberly. Kimberly? Yeah. There you go. Why'd you say that, Kimberly? I picked him up from the train station. And, um... We sort of passed each other because here we are at this train station. We've never seen each other before. And I went walking out to meet him at the train, and he came walking in, and we literally passed each other at the door. And so I saw him out of the corner of my eye. How'd you I know it was him? Because he was the best looking guy in the train station. Oh, and... he was adorable. Uh, Blake! <laughs> yeah! You're from New York. I'm from New York. New York has a lot of tourist attractions. True. What's your favorite site to see, uh, <laughs> to uh, take a woman to in New York? Uh, I'd probably have to say the Empire State Building. Why is that? Uh, just to get her ready. Sure. You know, the Empire State Building is tall. And you climb up on the outside and you put her in your That's hand. right. Well, it's very phallic. It is. You know, definitely Freudian. All right, well, we asked the ladies what they first thought of you when they saw you, Blake, and here's what they told us. One lady said, his eyes are as bright as the lights on Broadway. <laughs> Second lady said, I'd love to do some laps around the curves of this man's lips. <laughs> and a third lady said, hey, who put Ronnie Dangerfield's head on Jean-Claude Van Damme's body? <laughs> I'd love to do some laps around the curves of this man's lips was Kim. Oh, no! Oh, give me that back. What'd you say, Kim? <laughs> I said, who put Rodney Dangerfield? Oh, my God. Oh. But no, let me, let me explain. I mean that in the nicest way. That is a compliment, believe me. He has a gorgeous body. Sure. Okay, that's the first thing I noticed. The second thing I noticed were those big, expressive eyes of his. And by the end of the evening, he had me laughing the whole night, and so I thought of Ronnie Dangerfield. Really? So it's a compliment. Well, it's a compliment. What you think? Uh, what you think when you first saw Kim, Blake? I thought, mmm, mmm, looks tasty to me. There you go. All right, come back. We're gonna find out more about our biggest stud from New Orleans and in New York right after this. as it is, studs across America week. Nick, this from the wall is there, Ron.
How do you... New Orleans is one of my favorite cities in the whole uh, country. How do you show a girl a good time in New Orleans? Actually, She's out with you. Actually, it'll be easy right now. Because with Mardi Gras coming on... Sure. All I have to do is bring them there, and they'll have a good time themselves. Right. So they'll be impressed with me just by bringing them to Mardi Gras. All right. Well, uh, we asked these ladies about their dates with you, if they had any fun. Uh, and here's right. what they told us. Nick, one of them said, he melted my heart with his sweet little poem. Aww. And the third la uh, second lady said, he has the appetite of a really big Girl Scout. <laughs> and the third lady said, hey, what's Nick doing wearing Madonna's panties? <laughs> hey, what's Nick doing wearing Madonna's panties? That has to be Kimberly. Yeah, there right. you go. <laughs> you get these out of towners here and they just go nutty. Yeah. What, what happened? Well, Nick came up to Santa Barbara to sure. see me, as I was saying, and he had to take a shower at my place. Well, he didn't have to, but he asked if he could, so I let him take a shower. Well, so then um, Nick finally decided to get dressed and he was wearing leopard print bikinis. <laughs> Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know. Very popular down in the bayou? Very. Yeah? All right, you get to go again there. Nick, uh, one lady said, he melted my heart with his sweet little poems, or he has the appetite of a really big Girl Scout. He melted my heart with the sweet little poems. That must be Jennifer. No. No. Oh. Oh. What did you say, Jennifer? He has the appetite of a really big Girl Scout. Really? Yeah. So all he wanted to do all night long is eat some thin mints? Yeah. What'd you guys do? We went to Gladstone's for dinner, and I had a big old bucket of clams and bread, and he had a fish platter and picked at it. I was captivated by her. I couldn't uh -huh. help. I couldn't eat. What'd you guys talk about at dinner? Everything. Oh, okay. Basically. That covers it then. <laughs> Blake, yeah. how about you? Any surefire ways uh, to make a woman have a good time when she's out with you? Definitely make a girl laugh. Yeah? You make a girl laugh, you might get some action later on. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, are you, more, are you more of a cerebral laugher, or you just make funny faces? What do you do? What's your, what's your seller? Funny faces, dance, and uh, Look at the camera four and show me your funniest face. Do them on. Camera four right there. Do them on. about the most memorable moments with you, Blake, and here's what they told us. One of them said, it was the most romantic dinner of my entire life. Oh. Second lady said, who needs tab shoes? This guy dances with his tongue. <laughs> and the third lady said, gas must be cheap in New York because he sure got a lot of it. <laughs> it was the most romantic dinner of my entire life. Kim. No. Oh. What'd you say, Kim? <laughs> I said, who needs tap shoes? This guy dances with his tongue. Get out! Yeah. What did he do? He does the most amazing tongue tricks. Show, just show me, go look in the camera for and show me your best tongue, your just best tongue trick. I can do that one. <laughs> do it. No. <laughs> okay, there was no gold in that mine. Nick! <laughs> What signals does a woman send out to you when it's time to party? I can usually tell in their eyes. Oh. When I look at them, I see myself, and I see them sort of moving around. Really? And, yeah. All right, well, we asked the ladies if they had mirror <laughs> eyes, and uh, here's what they told us. Nick, one of the ladies said it was wet, it was adventurous, it was the undersea kiss of Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> Second lady said, frankly, I'd rather kiss a crawfish. Ooh. And the third lady said, his stormy mouth rained over my flesh in a typhoon of testosterone. <laughs> His stormy mouth rained over my flesh in a typhoon of testosterone. That would have to be Jennifer Ferrero. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> what you say that, Ms. Ferrero? Because after, after we went to dinner, we drove down to the beach, and I kissed him on the beach. Really? I Why not on the mouth? <laughs> Didn't you get sand and stuff in your mouth? Yeah, it was rough. But yeah. <laughs> does he kiss? Uh, does he kiss differently than California guys? No. No? Exactly the same. Exactly. Does she kiss as good as or differently than New Orleans women? She kisses great. Yeah. Better great. than New Orleans women? By far. How come? Why? Because I was really into it. There so. you go. All right. <laughs> it was what? It was adventurous. It was the undersea kiss of Jacques Cousteau, or frankly, I'd rather kiss a crawfish. 
Frankly, I'd rather kiss a crawfish. That would have to be Karen Jablonski. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> what happened, Verbal? Um, well, everything was cool, and then, we, like, after we went to the observatory, after we went to dinner, and then we went to, like, this little diner, and I told him I don't kiss on the first date, and it seemed like he was really bothered by that, you know? He wouldn't just accept that, you know? He well, kept, neither like, will I. To... You've never kissed a guy on a first date. I was lying. Well, that... <laughs> oh, she told me that. You're busting his chops for not believing you, and then you were lying. <laughs> But, you know, and then it just seemed like it bothered him, and it seemed like, you know, he wanted it too much, and then it, I just didn't want to kiss him. Well, then why did you say that instead of, I never kiss on the first date? I didn't day? want to hurt his feelings. Oh, so rather than do it alone in the diner, you do it in front of 18 viewers here. You hurt my feelings. Yes. You know, no, no guy, no I'm guy is going to believe that you don't kiss on a first date. There are girls that do, you know. Yeah, that, I haven't you know, met one yet. That don't. Uh, we've had women here say, oh, I never kiss on the first day, and one. you press them, and they go, well, a couple times I have. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how about you? You kiss on a first date? Never. All right. I believe it. <laughs> Him, I believe. All right. How do you know when the right time to make the move is? Like, definitely when a girl starts getting physical. Meaning? Meaning, like, if she rubs her bazams on me or... Uh... <laughs> Kind of, you know, touches, touches the tush, you know, by accident. All right, well, we asked the ladies about your romantic moves. Blake, and here's what they told us. One lady said, his mouth caressed my flesh and soothed my scent. <laughs> Second lady said, those kisses left me drowning in an ocean of pure passion. <laughs> and the third lady said, a few wiggles of his lips, and we were doing the horizontal hula. <laughs> <laughs> those kisses left me drowning in an ocean of pure passion. Jennifer. Yeah. There you go. What happened? Explain to me, Jennifer. Oh, my God. After, after dinner, we went back to my apartment, and he kissed me, and I had to go to work the next day, so he kind of just left me there. Did you want him to kiss you more? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you kiss him more, Blake? Because I wanted to be a gentleman. We went out to dinner, and my heart was pounding. So really? She was really sweet. Too much she... salt in your diet, maybe. That's what that is. <laughs> I that out. So anyway. So it was a nice date. It was a great date. All right, well, you get to go again. His mouth caressed my flesh and soothed my senses, or a few wiggles of his lips, and we were doing the horizontal hula. Hmm. His mouth caressed my flesh and soothed my senses was Kim. No. Oh. But, but it was that also. So you were doing the horizontal hula, Kimberly? <laughs> Can't do that. So we What'd went, you do instead? We went back to my apartment, and um, we had a bottle of champagne and candles. And, um, How were the candles? Were they good? Candles are great, yeah. There's, I, I prefer champagne and strawberries myself, but if candles work, that's Well, we fine. didn't have dessert at dinner, so we, we had it back at the uh -huh. apartment. What happened then, Blake? You polish off a bottle of champagne, a little tipsy at this point? A little. Yeah. Was she? And, yeah. Yeah. So? And then it was uh, tonsil hockey from there on. <laughs> Come on back and find out which one of these guys is going to impress a woman. against the biggest stuff in New York and three women from Los Angeles. It's, it's, it's like the UN here, and I am Butus Butus Gali. <laughs> Nick, tell me who said what, and I'll give you a heart, all right? Sure. According to these three ladies, who's most likely to kiss a woman's hands, you or Blake? All right. Um, I would say me, but I know they picked Blake. Okay, he says Blake, ladies. Blake. Oh, the old double reverse pays off for you, Nick. Why, Kimberly? Well, um, Blake is a gentleman. He's... He's a romantic. Sure. And he did, so I He know kissed he your really hands? Yes, he did. Really? Oh, that's nice. Oh. Blake, who's, no. who's most likely to impress, impress a woman's parents, you or Nick? I was going to say me, but I'm going to have to say Marky Mark. All right, he says Marky Mark, ladies. <laughs> Nick. There you go. Why, <laughs> Jennifer? Because he's like the little kid, clean cut, nice dress, and some that would play with your parents' minds. Really? Yeah. You like that? Do, what, do your parents usually like the guys you bring home? I live on an apartment. I live by myself, so they don't know. Okay. That's probably the best way to do it. Nick, <laughs> who's most likely to ask a date for gas money, you or Blake? We'll just say me. You'll Keep say me. Ladies? Nick. There you go, Nick. Why, <laughs> 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 Because, okay, 
all the guys that came out, okay, they were given rent a car, rent a cars. Well, he's not old enough to have a rent a car, so the girls had to drive him. And he didn't offer any of us gas money. <laughs> How many miles did you drive on the date? Oh, I don't know. Let's say 20? More. 30? I drove out to his hotel to pick him up, and then we went to Gerber Let's Park. Let's say 40 miles? Sorry. Okay, if that. What yeah. kind of car do you have? A Hyundai. Okay. <laughs> So he owes you like 87 cents. Get off the cannon! Blake, mm. who's most likely to have a collection of sex toys, you or Nick? Ooh. It's gonna have to be me. All right. <laughs> He's, he says Blake, ladies. Blake. There you go. said he had a present for me and he said I said give me a hint and he said mmm and I said candy and he said no look in the glove compartment and it was a purple vibrator <laughs> Nick <laughs> who's most likely to run naked through the rain you are the sea battery boy here <laughs> Excuse me, D battery boy. Thank you. <laughs> the way he's talking, you think it's him, but it's me. It's Nick, he says, Nick. ladies. Blake. Oh. Why would you say Blake would run naked through the rain, Karen? Because on our date, he we had so much fun. He is a wild and crazy guy, and I could totally see him just running naked in the rain just would to you get run for a laugh. Sure, why not? Sure. <laughs> Blake. Who's most likely to scream out his own name during sex? You or Nick? It's definitely the Cajun cook. <laughs> he says it's Justin Wilson. What do you say, ladies? Nick. There you go. Kimberly, a mighty strong accusation. Why'd you say that? Well, Nick, Nick is a guy in love with himself. <laughs> Has that ever actually happened to you? Well, I call out my own name? Yeah. Sure. There you go. <laughs> Come on back and find out who's more studly, Mr. New Orleans and Mr. New York. Tuesday night here. Our stud from New Orleans has got how many hearts? Seven? Seven. Seven. And you have? Four. Four from New York. Anybody can win, though, guys. It's double or nothing at this point. Blake, we're going to start with you. Tell me who you want to go out with. She picks you. Bada bing, you might get to go with her. All right. Well, I didn't pick Karen. Karen had a great time. Uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I said, Karen, I had a great time. Oh. Um, let's see. I didn't pick Kim. <laughs> Can we had a lot of fun, but I picked Jen. Why Jen? Uh, my heart was just beating for her. She's really sweet. And okay. We really hit it off well. Aww. Well, if Jen picks you, where are you going to take her? I'm going to take her back to New York, show sure. Big Apple, mm. and show her a romantic time. Very nice. Yeah. All right. All right. Nick, you're in the lead. Go ahead. I don't know how long. All right, Roddy. I never picked Kimberly because it was fun and all, but just never picked her. Okay. Okay. I never picked Karen because we're more like brother and sister. We can hang out. But I did pick Jennifer also. Why? So, same reason as him. She flew in my boat. All right. Woo! All right. Well, if, um, if she wants to christen your ship, where do you want to go? I want to go to Cancun. Cancun. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Kim, Neither of the guys picked. Did you have fun this time? Great time. More fun than last time? More fun than last time. All right, time. would you show us who you picked? <gasps> Lane! Oh. All right. Karen, how about you? Did you have a better time this time than last time? Don't um, lie. Yeah, I did. Don't lie. No, the dates were fun. Do you have last a kiss on the first date? <laughs> um, no. Okay. <laughs> would you show us who you picked? Oh, my God, nobody. Oh. All right, Jennifer, it's all up to you. If you pick Mr. New York, you're going back to the Big Apple. If not, you pick Mr. New Orleans, you're going to go to Cancun. What's it going to be? It was tough. Hello, Big Apple! Congratulations, Blake. Don't give her a kiss. Hey, come on here. Blake, let me borrow for a second. All right, you got to come back Friday because one of these guys could be the biggest stud in America. So stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yo, a promotional fee has been paid by the following. Brush away nail fungus with Lee Antifungal Nail Treatment. And for tips or repair, Lee Antifungal Instant Nail Glue. Lee in the Nail Beauty Product section. At last, nationally advertised nail...